This is how you can make an emoji list command for your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by getting a god tier subscription on discord or a super -er god tier subscription on YouTube. You can also get any of these three bot packages. These are custom coded, fully functional bot packages for a specific topic made by me. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested, and with that, let's go ahead and get into the video. We're going to go over to community, and we can go ahead and create emoji list.js. In here, we're going to get our slash command builder. We're also going to go ahead and get our embed builder, and then we can do equals require, and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js. Then we can do module.exports, and we can go ahead and open this up. This is going to be data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. We can go ahead and set a name, which is going to be emoji list, and we can go ahead and set a description. This is going to be list the server emojis, and then we can add a comma. We're going to do async executes. We can go ahead and get our interaction, and we can actually go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and create two functions that will run some logic for chunking these emojis into proper fitting embeds. So we can do async function chunk array, and then we can open up our array and we can get size as parameters and we can open this up. We can do let chunks equals an empty array. And we can go ahead and say four, and we can do let i equals zero. And then we can say i is less than array dot length. And then we can do i plus equals our size variable and just like that. So after we have that, we can open this up and we're gonna do const chunk equals array dot slice. And we can do i comma i plus size, just like that. And then we can do chunks dot push. And we can go ahead and get our chunk just like that. Finally, we're gonna come out of that loop and we can go ahead and return our chunks just like that. So basically what we've done here is we've created a function that takes two parameters it goes ahead and checks the array and the size and then it splits it up into chunks based off of that array size and then it returns those chunks so we're going to use those chunks in embeds so we're going to go ahead and create that function to put them into embeds so we can do async function we can do send and we can get our chunked parameter and we can open this up we're going to do var int response and we can do await chunked dot for each we're going to go ahead and do async emoji and we can open this up here in here we're going to do if and we can go ahead and get our int response variable and we can do equals one we're going to open this up and we can do embed set description and we can go ahead and say emoji dot join and we can do a empty space just like that and we can say dot set title and we're just going to set that to an empty string just like that and we can send this we can do a wait interaction dot channel dot send and get our embeds and that is going to be our embed just like that so after we do that we're going to go ahead and say else and we can do int response and we can set that equal to one and then we can do var total equals cache dot size and we can do var animated equals cache dot filter and we can do emoji arrow function emoji dot animated dot size then we can do embed and we're going to go ahead and do dot set title and in here we're going to go ahead and get our total minus our animated variable and we can say regular and we can go ahead and get our animated variable and then we can say animated and then we can go ahead and get our total and we're going to say total then we can go ahead and set a description and we're going to do the same as as above so we can do emoji dot join and we're going to do an empty string just like that finally we can go ahead and send this so we can do await interaction to reply and we're going to get our embeds and that is going to be our embed variable and just like that we do not need to set it to informal because we need this to be visible so now that we have our function we can actually go ahead and explain this so what we're doing is we're taking our chunk that we're going to get from using this function and we're first creating a variable to see if we have an interaction response. So it's first gonna go ahead and check to see if it's equal to one. And if it's not, it's gonna go ahead and send an interaction response and then it's gonna set that variable equal to one. So now from now on, it's gonna do this. So it's only gonna send one interaction and then it's gonna send it into the channel for all the other messages. That's just some basic interaction handling. Then we basically go ahead and assign an emoji chunk to an embed and we go ahead and send each one of those emoji chunks in a separate embed so that we don't overflow a specific embed character length. Now we can go ahead and do var emojis equals and we can do an empty array. Then we can do var cache and we can do equals interaction dot guild dot emojis dot fetch and just like that. And we're going to say await in front of that as well. We can do await cache dot for each and we can do async emoji and we can actually go ahead and open this up. We're going to say if emoji dot animated then we can open that up as well we can do emojis dot push and we're going to go ahead and do an a and then we can do emoji dot name 
and then we can do a colon, and then we can go ahead and say emoji.id, and we can finish that arrow off. Then we're gonna come down here, we're gonna say else, and we can do emojis.push, and this time we're not gonna do that A, we're just gonna do a colon, and we can do emoji.name, and then we can do our colon again, and we're gonna go ahead and get our emoji.id just like that. So basically, what we're doing here is for each and every one of the emojis, within the emoji cache, we're just gonna go ahead and push it to our emojis array, and we're gonna go ahead and push them either animated or not animated, it's just a different tag based off of whether or not it's animated. So now we have a little bit more logic to do here. We're gonna do var chunked equals await chunk array, and then we can do emojis, and we're gonna do 50. So we're gonna have 50 emojis per chunk, basically, and we're gonna be using our chunk array to actually separate those chunks into that size, which is going to be 50. Then we're going to do const embed equals new embed builder. And I'm going to go ahead and set a color. Mine is going to be blurple. You can do whatever you want. We don't have to set any more embeds because we've done that within our functions above. So now we can just go ahead and do some more logic. So we can do var redo and we're going to do await chunked dot for each. And we can do async chunk and we can open this up here. We're going to do if chunk dot join. Then we can separate this out and we can do dot length. And then we can do is greater than 2000. We can do redo equals true. Then we can go ahead and say else, and we can do redo equals false, just like that. So basically what we're doing here is we're checking to see if the chunk is greater than 2000. And if it is, we need to do some extra handling because we can only send embeds with a length that is less than 2000, I believe. Um, it might be more for embeds, but we're just gonna be safe and do 2000 as a number. Then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna handle that redo. So we're gonna do if, and we can do redo, then we can open that up. We can do var new chunk, and we can do await, and we can do chunk array, and then we can go ahead and get our emojis, and we're gonna do 20 this time. So the reason we're doing this is because before we did 50, and if we have a redo, that means 50 was too many emojis per chunk. So we just lower that down quite a bit so that we make sure we don't get that error. Then we go ahead and use our send function, and we can do our new chunk variable just like that. Finally, we're gonna go ahead and send it if there is no redo needed. So this is if everything worked properly. So we can say else and we can use our send function and we're just gonna get our chunked variable just like that. All right, so with that, we are actually done with this entire command. I just did a quick search and it looks like I did mess up an arrow at the end of this. So just make sure you put arrows at the end of this emoji length. So it's gonna be arrow, and then if it's animated, an A, colon, and then all of that, but just make sure you finish that arrow off. So after we make that quick correction, if you made it yourself, we can go ahead and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so we're gonna start off by doing our emoji list, and we can just go ahead and send it, and as you can see, we get our emojis. So this is going to be separated into two different embeds, and we have all of the emojis within this specific server. So now let's go ahead and test it out within a bigger server. This one has has quite a lot more emojis than the other server. It's pretty much jam packed with emojis. So let's go ahead and run this. We can do emoji list and we can go ahead and send it. And as you can see, it gives us all of our emojis right here within separated out embeds so that we don't overflow our embed length. It's also important to note that it does give you some statistics here. So we have 230 regular, we have 60 animated, and obviously those add up to 290 for our total. All right, so that's how you can create an advanced emoji list command using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community and with that i will see you guys in the next video